Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Please tell me which one of these is funnier, okay? She's out of the frame, and I start doing this. These are her footsteps. She comes in, she's like, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I need a burger in my tum tum. Voice over uh, monologue in her head. I can give, I give it like a reverb, and she's just like, It's been so long since I had a good burger. How dare they not represent me specifically in their RPG fantasy game? Unless everyone looks like me, you're canceled, oversexualized, and if those are the only options, I'm going to make a commercial campaign in a house big enough to where everybody can stand far enough back away to get me fully in frame. Can I say that? Like the video. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. How sad and lonely would men need to be to, to be standing against uh, sexy representation? Come on, man. But honestly, I guess taking a stand is also offensive if you can't do that and, you know, you, you feel specifically, what, disrespected or marginalized because you're specifically not being re why how can we get away with making anything man isn't that offensive to people who can't see you know what i'm seeing oh y'all making shit to look at <laughs> see fucking when does it stop where does it stop uh, that is ableist we at saints row do not punch down truth of the matter is if you lack the courage i'll be the one to punch the midget in self-defense and be the hero that this industry needs but not the one it deserves right now if a little person broke into your room with a knife right now yeah you're gonna need to do what you need to do you know what i'm saying what you gonna squat on his level and punch sideways you fighting like a crab in your own room against a little person they put us in bikinis wow for the record old ladies we get it you're aging Maybe you never had much going on in the first place, but you cannot convince people that fat is, quote, real beauty just because it's your best chance at people paying you attention. Nothing your miserable, insecure whinging will accomplish will change how effortlessly and naturally beautiful fit athletic women are. They inspire art, inspire war, and they're not figuratively. They're literally causing car accidents right now with men who can barely keep their eyes off of them. And we know that you know that it's work because your ugly fat ass doesn't possess the restraint to work on yourself instead of being so thin skinned that uh, that's not what I look like. You know what I mean? That's what you need to connect to something. Oh, that's tragic for you. Get some brain cells. This wasn't made for you. Go, go play in the sandbox, you know what I mean? Because clearly the men are tougher, more intelligent, more confident. And were we to treat this as a microcosm of how you're looking at things, these woke types will never make progress because they lack the self-awareness necessary in recognizing shortcomings and shifting gear to compensate. That's what your woke cringe and bad writing needs is something high quality enough to balance out the trash. Some of your shows, all they had were pretty people in them. And when you take them out, everyone's forced to go, oh, look at this CW garbage. There's absolutely no reason to watch it. But instead, you guys are blaming people who recognize the fact that your shit sucks. And what you're showing is the difference between failure and success. Short men, poor men, fat men, little dick men. They recognize that if they're going to appeal, if they're going to make it, they must compensate, own a skill, develop a talent, be able to do something that disarms people, that charms people, something to endear themselves. But in true ignorant fashion, you fat, old, ugly, lazy sluts 
have opted with your dry crotches to embrace this attempt to redefine what words mean. There's so much of that going around already. You're going to change the definition of something. There's a lol cow who to some is, is actually a horror cow called Lucas Werner. I've covered him on this channel. Go look that up. He is a fat, old, ugly man. But he believes that his best gamble to get women to bang him is to guilt them into, you know, you're an age phobe if you have a problem with my age. You're classist if you have a problem with me being poor. But he's specifically demanding girls between certain ages. That's how y'all coming off. It's never about real equality. It's about tipping the scale in woke favor, lowering the bar so you and your fat ass friends can reach it. Diverse and inclusive, yet paradoxically excluding. Because you demand acceptance, but you cannot accept people's preferences. You're smoothing out the girl so that they look like little boys and you're you're really ramping it up in the other the other departments. What's your problem? If people did what you did, you'd have all kinds of words for them. And that wouldn't be okay. Well, what's the difference? What's the difference? You're one of those types where it's like, I can't be racist because you're a narcissist. You're not available for discussion. And you are worthy of the ridicule, the mockery, all of it that's coming at you. I don't condone it. But partner, I understand. Beta tester, I've been worried about whether or not Spider-Man 2 and Grand Theft Auto 6 are going to be entirely too woke to even relate. Because in my opinion, and like the video, this is all demonetized. Black Cleopatra, Black Lord of the Rings, Black Little Mermaid, Trans Bat Girl, oh, Bat Woman, Student Loan Jokes. Let's, do, you know, sanitize this. We gotta, we gotta make it nice and PG, man. Ooh, we don't want to punch down. Oh, it all goes back to Lady Ghostbusters, dude. It could never have been that that was a bad movie with bad writing. It could only be that we were sexist. You understand? And like I said before, all they need to do to offset this cringe, this bad writing, this garbage is to offer something. You ever hear the term style over substance? You know what style over substance is without style? It's no style and no substance. If the cake's crap and you're giving it crap icing too, there's nothing there for anybody. I love to say you're taking the Jurassic out of Jurassic Park. You, you ever see the menu? This is how I'm ending this video. You, you know that part in the menu where Chef is really zoning. He's he's really, he's got John Leguizamo's character in his sights. Maybe it's not fair. He, he's just an actor in the movie. Eh, sick of it. I'm sick of it. And the truth is, Everybody, everybody on some level understands and appreciates where Chef is coming from. Fuck you, man. You know, this is my one day off. And I was going to go sit down and do this thing and enjoy myself or uh, attempt to with some entertainment to escape my current situation. And instead, what I got is this lazy garbage, this stale, just stagnating attempt at, at education because you people think you're the ones to 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 say something to people to the to the less educated i got something for these honeys that think that the girls that oh they were just they're you're talking down to those women they were too stupid to recognize that they were being objectified right that's what it is you think they weren't getting paid for what they were doing as well as like the kind of slave situation oh my god Oh my God, make your game, make no money, and shut the fuck up. That's what we feel. You know what I mean? That's what the everyman feels. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I am so sorry. Let me see where you got that research from, though. Where the research here? Run the research! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me the research! <laughs> Give me the research! <laughs> Put it in the bag, get that research out of the top. Get your hands out of the way. <laughs> Give me the research. Oh, yeah, the research is looking real good. Mm-hmm.
so good. <laughs> <laughs>